In this video we summarize some of the topics covered in the chapter that works through from a problem description to application implementation. The chapter does not attempt to introduce anything new. Rather, it draws together many of the object-oriented principles that were introduced in the preceding chapters in the form of a case study. The chapter is based around the following problem description for a company that operates taxis and shuttles. Applying verb-noun analysis to the description, we identify the following nouns and associated verbs to go with each. The next step is to run through some typical scenarios and a number of these are described in the chapter. Following this process, here is a sample of the resulting CRC cards. Eventually, after refining the design through the analysis of scenarios, we shall reach the point where we're ready to commit to an outlined version of the classes in source code. The Taxi Company Outline project represents this stage. The collaborative interactions are evident in the association arrows between the different classes. Notice that the analysis process identified that the taxi and shuttle classes share many features that are best represented by an abstract superclass, vehicle. If we look at the source of these classes, we see that there is very little implementation at this stage. Most of the classes contain little more than constructors, basic get and set methods for their fields, and empty methods. This is appropriate because we're really only transferring the information from the CRC cards to skeleton classes at this stage. Having made a start on implementation, we should not go too much further before we start to consider how to test the application. Therefore, we move from this version to one where we've already begun to add JUnit test classes. At this stage, a large proportion of the tests are likely to fail because of the overall lack of viable implementation. This is normal. It is important to consider the test classes as having the same status as the application classes. As the application is developed, further test cases should be continually added to the test classes in order to keep the two aspects in step. Including test classes from the beginning is one way to make this more likely to happen. In the chapter, we develop the project further until we have a version that implements quite a lot of the required functionality for taxis. Notice that we've borrowed some of the simulation ideas from the Foxes and Rabbits project, including the idea of an actor interface. We've also reused elements of the GUI. Running the simulation, we see icons representing taxis and customers periodically appear requesting collection. When a new customer appears, a taxi is scheduled to collect them and then drop them off at their destination. The chapter goes on to present a number of further ideas for development of the application. This chapter brings together a large number of the concepts in object-oriented design and implementation that we've dealt with throughout the book. It illustrates that themes recur again and again in object-oriented problem solving. We find designing and implementing programs an exciting, creative and satisfying activity, and we hope you will feel the same way.